Nearly a year ago to the day, the Victoria Islamic Center was burned down in what federal prosecutors labeled a hate crime. The alleged arsonist is scheduled to face trial on several charges in April, while an effort to rebuild is already underway. The night team's Garrett Berger talked with some of the mosque's congregation about their road to recovery. I was shocked for every one of us to see our masjid in the fire. It was an ugly sight, the mosque burning against the night sky, and it seemed to send an uglier message. That's like somebody giving you an eviction notice. Mark Vincent Perez, the man suspected of lighting the fire, has been charged with a hate crime. <laughs> and the members of the congregation are not gone, not evicted. Instead, they are rebuilding. Money from around the globe has fueled this effort. The campaign raised uh, $1.1 million in, uh, in three days. We received donations from 90 countries. It's been almost exactly a year since the mosque burned down, but worshippers are going to have to wait a little bit longer before they can start in their new building. They're looking at about another six months until it's completed. In the meantime, they worship in another building to the side. Allah Akbar. <laughs> already anticipating the mosque that will go upon the foundation next door. I feel very relieved. You know, so I'm very happy that uh, I can't wait until it's finished. And though one man may have stolen away their place of worship, many more will have helped to build it anew. Human kindness is the most, the mo really, truly the most beautiful thing you can ever observe. Gary yes. Berger, KSAT 12 News. Coming up Sunday night on the Night Beat, how the community is reacting to all of the support that they've received.